Today, our News 8 Storm Team forecast says clearing skies pretty quickly this morning. We have a lot of sunshine for you, and that's going to warm temperatures from the 40s to the 50s at 9 o'clock. For the afternoon, mostly sunny, pleasant, temperatures right on par with average 68. Then this evening, a couple of clouds. Those clouds always tend to fade with a loss of heating, and it'll be comfortable with temperatures near 60. Tonight, we're right back down into the 40s, a little cooler than this morning, in fact. Mostly clear, chilly. And then as we head into tomorrow, after that crisp start, we're going to see mostly sunny conditions refreshing. Refreshing temperatures in the afternoon. Look at the highs here, 60 to 64 degrees with a northwesterly breeze. Here's your currents, 46 in Lewistown. It's 47 in Lancaster and Lebanon. We have 50 in Harrisburg and Carlisle. Need a light jacket out there, especially with this dry air. Look at the dew points, 40s. That is very dry air, a sure sign of October. Weather and health update today. Ragweed pollen levels remain low. Air quality is good. UV index is checking in moderate burn time, 35 to 40 minutes. Our Storm Team Live Radar Network shows that quick moving disturbance north of I-80. Couple of sprinkles there through Schuylkill County exiting right now. Bigger picture shows that any cloud cover we have should be clearing as high pressure builds back in from the Great Lakes. So today, high pressure rules. It's going to be another beautiful day. Looks like we get that morning sun and a few puffy clouds this afternoon. No weather worries here in the Susquehanna Valley. Tonight, here comes a dry cold front that just reinforces this cool dry air in place. So we're looking at dew points tomorrow, possibly dry dropping to the 30s and tomorrow night we could have a touch of frost in parts of Pennsylvania. I don't think most of the Susquehanna Valley will be dipping into the 30s, but outlying areas in northern counties might see some upper 30s on Thursday morning. As we head into Friday, high pressure rebuilds, and that's going to be a beautiful sight for us. We're really going to be looking for a nice weekend setting up with a chance of showers returning as we head into Sunday. Here's Hurricane Milton. Milton, still a Category 5 powerhouse storm. There is going to be a really strong catastrophic impacts from this storm up and down the Gulf Coast of Florida. Florida and is now going to be making landfall late tonight about 2 a.m. as a category four storm. It then comes across Florida throughout the day Thursday, exiting Thursday afternoon into the Atlantic, and it's going to lose a little bit of steam here as it interacts with a cold front, but it should be weakening into a depression as we head into the end of the week and the weekend, and it passes south of Bermuda. No impacts from Milton locally, but boy, Florida, they know it's a serious storm and it will be making landfall tonight. As we head into the weekend here, 70s for us, and then 60s and 50s next week. October really showing up there. It is certainly going to be a cool stretch for us along with a breeze, and we could maybe work in some showers toward the end of next week, something I'm watching for you. But overall, looks like a pretty dry pattern setting up for us. But cool.